Hi guys, I am Summer Noel and I am coming with to you today with dollar store finds. Um, everything on this table could be sourced at the dollar store. Um, there's different dollar stores, 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, there's a lot, but most of these items can be found at any of those stores. Um, go in, take a look around, shop around, and see what supplies you can find in your dollar store. Um, some of the, we're just gonna hit on some of the top uses for me today. Um, some of the big ones are, they have rolls of paper. So this I roll out onto my workstation. I change it about once a week, keep my workstation really clean. I try to keep my space as glitter free as possible so that I'm not contaminating one cup from the other. And this paper really helps. Um, I just roll it out, wrap it up, throw it away and roll out a new layer. They also have the pool noodles that a lot of people use. These are back in stock. Um, they were out for the winter, but they're coming back in because the summer is coming. These are great for um, using with your cups, um, especially the Dollar Tree cups. These fit perfectly on here on a handle that goes on your turner. So this is the perfect tool to cut and use for your Dollar Tree tumblers. Um, this is the Dollar Tree tumbler. They're really, really good for practice work with new techniques. They're also excellent kids cups. They also make really fun little gifts for someone who you want to give something special to, but you don't want to spend a ton of money on the product and you just want to give them something pretty and cute. This is a good cup. It is not made with stainless steel, so it will not hold ice or hot coffee like the others. This is going to be just like your basic travel mug. But they also have um, the cups with the straws and the lids, wine glasses, little jars that you can use for like honey jars or... Um, things to hold q-tips and you can decorate them really cute um, and different types of mugs they have all different sizes you can see I got this one from the dollar store this one's also from the dollar store they have a bunch of different sizes so you want to check out that section of your dollar store um, and see what they have they have usually have beer steins regular wine glasses champagne glasses all these things can be decorated and made into a beautiful gift or something item for you to sell in your shop um, the, the another really good one that people skip over a lot of time are these really inexpensive gloves I don't wear these on both hands. I only wear these on my left hand because my left hand isn't really gonna come in contact with the epoxy and I don't really wanna waste a really expensive nitrite glove on it. And I wear the nitrite glove on my right hand which does come in contact with epoxy, but this one is going on my left. That way I can save the gloves and make my gloves last a lot longer by using the really inexpensive ones on my left hand and not wasting a glove um, that I'm just gonna throw away from the nitrite glove. Um, then you're going to move it to your popsicle sticks. These cannot be sourced cheaper anywhere else. I have tried. I have looked and looked, and they can't. This is 120 pieces for a dollar. Um, I buy these in like four or five packs at a time because I go through a lot of popsicle sticks um, with my mixing. So you definitely want to grab those at your dollar store. So far, every dollar store I've ever, ever been in has had popsicle sticks, so I'm sure yours will have it as well. Then you want to use, when you're um, cleaning your cups and working on your cups, you want to use something that's going to be lint-free. You don't want any of the little fuzz balls from like a cotton ball or anything to come off on your cup because that will affect you, the way your epoxy lays. So you can use coffee filters, source at dollar store. These you would use in any um, situation you would normally use a cotton ball in. Or you can use the microfiber cloths. These were in the hardware department of the 99 cent store. Um, these will both work really well for cleaning and working with your cups and not leaving fibers behind. Um, paint brushes. Um, I buy these at the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. They come in packs. That way you can use them once and throw them away if you want. Um, but I actually wash and reuse um, and they work really, really well. This is, the, this is the paintbrush, in my opinion, is the best for Mod Podge. Um, then you have these really great um, condiment containers. You will mark these with the brand of epoxy that you're using because I, I mark them with the brand because I have about four different types of epoxy that I work with for different things. Um, so I would put um, uh, counterculture and A and B or promarine A and B. Um, and then that way you don't have to use, because I buy in the two gallon jugs and now they're too awkward to try to get and pick, pick up and pour out of. So I pour them into here and then work from there. They have great containers, 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 containers. This one I love because I can put all my tools in it and keep it organized on my workstation and I'm not looking around for where I put that tool because every time I use, finish using it, I put it right back in my little con tool container. So grab one of these and keep yourself organized. In the hardware department, you'll also find they have packs of sandpaper. This is really useful. Um, it gets expensive, this hobby, so finding stuff like this, like a little pack of sandpaper for a dollar is a really great find and will save you money. Um, a lot of people use shakers for their glitter. I don't like shakers because I don't like having to remove the shaker part to then pour my glitter back in. It's just a, an extra step that I don't want to take the time for. So I buy these at the dollar store. They're little in the food uh, storage con section. And I put my glitters in these when they come in the little baggies when I order them. Um, and I pour them down in here. That way I can tap them easily onto my cups. 
and then just pour it right back in and I don't have to worry about removing that top. Um, then we'll move into the little containers. They have these in like the makeup area. These are really good for making your own alcohol inks. You fill them with the alcohol and then you go to the marker section and get the permanent markers, cut these open, take the foam out, uh, middle marker color foam out and put them in, down in there and you've got your own alcohol inks for just a couple bucks. Um, then working with the alcohol inks, I use these makeup sponges. Um, you'll take the alcohol ink color that you want, put it on the sponge and dab it on. That's how I get the honey look on my Bumblebee tumbler is by splotching on the alcohol ink on top of the paint. Um, so those, again, dollar store, great resource. Um, adhesives, you got um, your glue sticks, your super glue, the super glue I use a lot for my geodes cups. Um, and then you got double-sided tapes. They have all different sorts of uh, double-sided, sorry, double-sided tapes in the uh, kids craft department. Uh, this is the mounting pieces. I use these a lot for my uh, card making, but they're also, the double-sided tape is also very useful in making tumblers and doing straight lines and such with your glitter. Um, packing, I use a lot of their products for my packing. I buy the tissue paper, I buy the bubble wrap and the packing tape. So I'll wrap a cup with tissue paper, then I wrap it in the bubble tape and bubble wrap and then I tape it into box. I buy these paper straws in bulk, so it pretty much as many as they have on the shelf, I buy them all. They're only a dollar for all these straws, and this is a really nice added gift inside the box with your tumbler when you're mailing it. Um, this will set your business apart, putting a little extra gift inside the box. It doesn't have to be straws. This is just something I choose to do because it's inexpensive and very useful, and the people are very appreciative. That's probably the biggest comment I get of feedback from people is that they, they're like, oh, I love my little gift about the little straws or the little you know, facial packet I put in. It's, it doesn't even have to be anything that has anything to do with Tumblr. People just love the little extra touches. And so that is one you can do is add these paper straws in with your tumblers. Um, when you're sanding and working with your tumblers, you want to wear a mask. Um, you don't want to get that sanding dust up into your sinus cavity or into your body at all. So wear a mask. These, again, hardware department of your dollar store. They are, it's the cheapest you're going to find them anywhere. Um, if you want to do something fun and Mod Podge on stuff, they at the dollar stores, they sell in the, in the birthday department. Um, they sell fun paper napkins. You can Mod Podge these onto a cup and make a really, this one would do a vintage look, but they have fun ones like Minions and... Uh, my Little Ponies and all the different things on them so you can make all kinds of different tumblers with the different napkins and the Mod Pod method. Then in the hardware department or the school departments, they have um, your rulers. Uh, this is a big one. They have X-Acto knives. When you're getting started, X-Acto knives can be expensive. They're like 12, 13, 14 dollars. This is at the dollar store. This will get you started and make sure you like this hobby before you invest in something super fancy. It comes with an extra blade, so that's really nice. When it, when it gets dull, you just can refresh it and you don't have to buy another one. Um, cotton balls, cotton uh, pads. The only time I use cotton is when I'm done with the uh, cup entirely um, and I'm cleaning the inside. I use acetone and a cotton uh, pad. This is a container I bought at the dollar store. It will hold acetone without melting and it has a really nice release system on the top. You just take the cotton pad, push down, and you will get a really nice um, little bit of acetone, perfect for working with your cup. Um, they have Sharpies, black Sharpies you'll use for the line around the bottom when you're doing a fa fabric cup or if you want to leave the edging. Um, there will be, um, you can use this with popsicle stick. I will have a video on that method. Um, tweezers, scissors, all these things are found at the dollar store. So make sure you're walking through your dollar store every aisle, check it out, find the good stuff. You can find cool little glitters, you can find uh, acrylic paints. All these things can be sourced at your dollar store. So check out your dollar store, find the supplies that work for you and go with it.